Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to my second video. Today I'm going to be teaching you about variables and data types. So, let's get started. What are variables? These are named containers that are used in storing data that can be assessed and manipulated by the computer program. You can visualize variables as a box that holds a content. This content is referred to as values. Whenever the computer wants to change or read the value of a variable, it has to do so using its name. Now, values of variables are of different types. We have integers, we have double or floats, we have boolean, we have string, we have a whole lot more. Now, what are integers? These are simply whole numbers, either positive or negative. Examples 1, 2, minus 5, 0, whatever. Now, double, on the other hand, are numbers as well, but they are decimal numbers. Examples are 0 0.2, 1.3, whatever. Boolean are simply true or false. That's it. Strings are a series of characters. Example, my name is Emmanuel, right? My can be a string. Name can be a string. My name is Emmanuel can be a string. So we're going to jump off to the playground and actually test this out in code. See you there. Welcome back. So for those of us who do not have Max, then simply follow the link in the description. It's going to bring us here. Click on this button and we'll get to our playground where we're going to be writing code, okay? For those of us who have Macs, then simply open up Xcode and click on Get Started with a Playground. Select blank and simply write in the name of the project. I'll call mine variables. Create. So I'm going to change this to foundation and get rid of all of this. Now we're ready to get started. Before we actually start creating variables, let's just say hi to the programming community, shall we? In order to do that, we simply need to use the word print. And in quotes, we're going to type hello world. Now we click on this play button and voila. Oh yeah. Your first hello world. Great. Now we can go back to creating variables. Now let's create variables. We need to follow this format, the syntax. Var, the variable name, and the value. Now what I've done here is I'm using a comment, and we're simply saying compiler, don't pay attention to this line. So the compiler is simply going to skip it. Okay. Now let's create a, a string variable. Say var. Let's say greeting again, greeting, and let's say hello world, but without quotes this time. And as you remember, to print, you say print greeting. So what do we expect the output to be? Guess, guess, guess. And were you correct? Sure you were. Good. So here you can say string variable. Now let's create an integer variable. Integer variable. So the same syntax bar, let's call this uh, year equal to 2020. Now this is the difference between a number and a string. A string is wrapped in quotes, a number is not. So let's print the year as well. Print year. Let's comment this guy out and run this. You should see 2020. And yes, of course, we do. Now let also let's also create um, a boolean variable. So boolean variable. I don't know how to spell. So var. Let's call this single or married equal to true. Print married. Now this could be true, it could be false. Ah, it's that true. Okay. Now let's also create a uh, double double variables. So double variable. Say bar. Let's call this rate equals one point two, and print 
call this great. Run this. Great, it works. Let's get this guy out. Now, in order for us to actually see the type of the variable, because as you see here, <coughs> sorry, we didn't have to specify the type of variable, but there are situations where we want to implicitly tell the compiler that it is actually a string or an integer or a double, whatever. <coughs> Let's look at a situation or an instance. So let's say I wanted to create a variable called num1 equals 1. Now this is an integer, var num2 equals 2.5. Now this is a double, right? And I wanted to add these two numbers, right? I said var addition equals num1 plus num2. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, the compiler does not agree with this because you're trying to con you're trying to add an integer to a double. So in situations like this, a simple fix could be to specify this guy here as a double. And to do that, you simply need to add a colon and a double. And hopefully the compiler good shuts up. Now you can print. And print, I'm going to have to spell that, addition, and let's see what the solution is. Awesome. So that's this is one instance where we might need to specify the exact type that we want. Another concept I'd like us to cover is constants. So constants are like variables. The only difference is that their values are not allowed to change. Let's take an example. So I'm going to create a variable called name. Let's call this manual. And I'm going to print out my name is, is let's just print the value of the string of the variable rather. So what we're doing here is we're concatenating the variable with a string. We're printing them together. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we can see it right here my name is Emmanuel. And get rid of this extra space and it's good. Now let's try something else. Let's change the value of name. Name. Let's say Uzo, my younger brother. And I run this. So you see the value changed. Great. So now whenever you want to declare variable constants rather, you use the keyword let right and now that we've made this a constant you can see that the compiler is complaining it's saying that cannot assign value to this is a let it is constant so that's it whenever you want to declare very variables constants then you're not, not going to be using you're not going to be changing throughout the application so it's just best to declare them as a let instead so as you can guess these guys should be let's. Awesome. So I guess this ends our variables and data types video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Like and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.